is a group of biotechnology obsessed researchers, designers, and engineers who have an interest in creating a new kind of chicken, a pink chicken. Now, you might think this is weird, and it is, uh, but the idea here is to kind of protest what is going on, or at least call attention to what is going on with the amount of uh, chicken that is disposed of in landfills. Um, landfills are full of fossilized chicken bones. And the people behind the Pink Chicken Project are hoping to call attention to this through their uh, bioengineering of chicken. Uh, the way it would work would the pink would be that the pink color would come from an insect that is already used uh, for its dye properties in other foods, and it would produce a chemical co uh, called carminic acid, which would combine with the calcium in bones to create dye. This is what they think it would look like. That's pretty gross. I don't know for uh, appetizing reasons if people would be into this. I don't think that this would end up being something that people like be, uh, eating. But the idea here is to call attention to something, which they're hoping to encode directly into the DNA of this chicken. Um, and it would say this. We, the humans of planet Earth, write this message at the beginning of the Anthropocene, year 2017. The current devastation of the planet is not the result of activities undertaken by the whole species, Homo sapiens. Instead, it derives from a small group of humans in power. We urge you to fight this oppression, for it enables and aggravates the anthropocentric violence forced upon the non-human world. Sent in hope that you have reimagined us as a biological organism, joined in symbiosis with each other and the planet. So the idea here is that all those chicken bones that end up fossilized in landfills would be read one day by a superior species, or at least the DNA would be read, and they would get this message and understand what caused our devastation and our destruction, uh, anti-environmental causes. Some people have voiced that this probably won't work. Dr. Paul Modzniak, an expert in animal cell culture, talked to Motherboard. Um, explaining that there are only a few laboratories in the world doing this because it would be still be very difficult and not as easy as Pink Chicken Project believes it is. Uh, it would be possible to use CRISPR to make the chicken bones pink. However, since the FDA has not approved genetically more modified organisms, it is unlikely that the chickens would be sold along their non-pink counterparts. Now, the Pink Chicken Project thought that this would be, uh, described this as being as very simple to do. Uh, they believed it would be easiest to uh, introduce to broiler chickens because they have a very short lifespan, only six weeks. These are chickens that are bred especially to be meat. And since the lifespan is so short, it would take not that long for it to be introduced to uh, many generations of chickens and eventually supplant uh, the current white chicken and be the dominant chicken that we all eat. Though the doctor does have a point, the FDA would need to approve this and it doesn't seem like they would. Now I have a question, which is, do you think this is an effective way of um, protesting the wrongs, uh, environmental wrongs uh, in the world, or do you think it's kind of dumb? Now try to be objective when you think about it. It's kind of brilliant because it will last the tests of time and will outlast us if it were implemented like they said. However, I don't know if it will work to stop the current levels of anti-environmentalism. What do you think? Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.